In this short tutorial, I want to do something where you find all the emails sent out by Sugar or Sweet CRM. And this is pretty helpful when you need to uh, get a kind of a count of how many emails there are, if one's lost, or something like that. Um, so here's my tables, and we'll just look for emails. There are email addresses, and then there's also emails, which uh, hold all the emails sent out by Sweet or Sugar or CRM. Um, I'll make an alias from it for it. Emails e. So here's the email ID. Here's the name. Name is the subject matter of the email, and you can see the status of what it what it was done. Uh, so sort of sent out, and this is sent out on the accounts module. Uh, so if you want to see something from a specific um, module. And uh, you can do something like uh, inner join. Uh, try to type here. Counts a on e dot parent id a dot id, and this should display all emails pertaining to specific uh, specific partners. And I'll just write the name of the partner. I'll run this again. You can see that this uh, one partner had one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, emails sent out from their module, from the accounts module. But, uh, six emails were sent out from that partner. There's two on this partner, and so on. Using this information, you can find out, um, using the parent ID, you can figure out which emails were sent from which module and kind of figure out why. Um, looking further, you can find out the actual body of the email, I believe, by looking at email's text. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, select e dot star from email's text, and. I should just write the database name in front of there, just so there's no confusion. Oh, didn't get that in alias. So here's the email ID, here's the from address, to address, and then the description of it. So we can actually include this into our join Inner join emails text et on e dot id uh, that id is the same as et dot email id so they give us the name and then we can get the what we want is the description and then the rest of the email information. So here is the description the and then the rest of the email ID. And then looking at this, we can kind of figure out what we're trying to say here. Meeting to discuss plan blah blah blah. Some business thing that's going on in our very important uh, customer-based system. And this concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching.